I am impartial. I'm not a carnivore purist. I'm not a militant vegan. I am just somebody who is in the health and fitness industry who wants to bring the truth to you guys. I said to myself the morning of day 30, that's it. No more. I'm done with the carnivore diet. And that was until this happened. Okay, everyone, welcome back to the Fitness Search channel. I'm Paul Hutchinson. Uh, this is the Fitness Search. This is my gym. And we're back for another installment of um, vegan to carnivore video. So today what we're going to be talking about is 30 days on the carnivore diet. So I am officially 30 days into the carnivore diet. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, my experience of 30 days, how I'm feeling, um, some of the food I've been eating, that all important injury updates, um, and then maybe throw a little bit in to say, um, whether I'm going to continue doing the diet. Let's, let's think about that one. Um, and what's going to be happening with my diet and my exercise moving forward. So first things first, 30 days. Um, I'm, I'm fairly amazed I got here because there's been some ups and downs. Um, the downs being, I've had some rough meal days. I've struggled to regulate some of the, um, the energy with the fats and the electrolytes. And so it's taken a bit of getting used to. And I would say if you're watching this and you're not going to watch the whole video and you want something to take away from the start, something that you need to be taking away from the start is 30 days isn't as long as you would think. Um, it takes time to um get into this it takes time to understand your body to see how it's going to respond with your energy and your hydration so as much as 30 days might feel quite daunting if you're just starting out it's not it soon goes um and it will be trial and error and there will be some ups and downs so um just consider that um so for myself how have how have i been how do i feel so 30 days i feel very accomplished because this isn't an easy diet to undertake, and it isn't something that I would necessarily advise. Um, and I don't want to take anything away from that, and I don't want the hardcore purist carnivores that might watch this to go, oh, why aren't you advising it? Well, because as a fitness and nutrition professional, um, I like to advise things to my clients and my friends and my family that I think is sustainable. And I don't feel like this diet for a large proportion of people is a sustainable diet because we all have very varied lives. Okay, Christmas is coming up. We're 90 days out from Christmas. Um, can you imagine getting to Christmas, not having any Christmas pudding, no Christmas cake, no quality street, no um, Yorkshire puddings, no mashed potato, uh, no red cabbage. There's, there's so much, no gravy. There's so much you can't have. It's very restricting for, for the average person. And I'm not saying that all that food's good and people should be eating it. What I'm saying is that the majority of people are going to eat it. The majority of people will want to enjoy them, them things. Um, you think about going to a restaurant. Okay, Rancho's is a barbecue restaurant in my local town. Um, amazing food, by the way. If you're ever in Boston, you should go to Rancho's. I'm not sponsored by them, um, but it's great food. But all their ribs and all their meat and all their belly pork and everything is all done in sauces and sticky sort of stuff. And you, you can't have any of it. You could just have a plain steak. So I, I just I feel it's a little bit restrictive. And I don't like to advise things for people that are restrictive because when you're restricted, that's when you give in. That's when you go, oh, I can't have this and I won't have anything. And I know what a lot of people talk about within this industry is the 80-20 diet. 80% is is whole foods, natural, healthy, 20% is just what whatever you enjoy to have. Um, and if you're going to be doing that, then that is going to be healthy enough. However, that being said, um, I have enjoyed the food that I've eaten. I like eating steak, even if it's not glazed in anything, just a fried steak in butter or ghee or tallow. Um, the butcher didn't know what beef tallow was. Don't know if that's a thing. If you're a butcher, do you not know what beef tallow is? Um, so <laughs> he was like, do you mean lard? Um, so <laughs> weird. Anyway, so, you know, I like fried eggs. I like bacon. Um, so I, I have enjoyed the food. It's been, it's been good. It's been quite an interesting journey. And I think as far as carnivore or vegan goes, meal wise, food wise, 
I've enjoyed carnivore 10 times more than I enjoyed vegan. Um, I, I, I would much rather have a real steak just on its own than an entire meal of just vegetables in sauces and, uh, and pasta. And so I think as, as far as diets go, I enjoyed it more. Um, health wise, the arthritis on my feet is worse than it was before I started this diet. There's no, there's no way of sugarcoating it. There's no way of, um, of hiding that fact. It is worse. I guess that's just something I'm going to have to live with if I want to do the diet. Let's talk about weight because weight is the one thing that most people do this diet for. They want to lose weight. That's one of the things. And that's something that when Joe Rogan talks about it, he talks about his weight loss. And when you go on like the, the carnivore soldier on YouTube, talks a lot about weight loss. Um, so people come onto this for weight loss and I am impartial. I'm not a carnivore purist. I'm not a, um, a militant vegan. I am just, somebody who is in the health and fitness industry who wants to bring the truth to you guys. So I'm doing this diet partly for me, but partly for you. So I can tell you the truth. And the truth is that after three days, I weighed myself and I had lost weight. After a week, I weighed myself and I had lost weight. I was, I was, um, 4.4 pound down. So two kilos. 2.2 pound in a kilo. Yeah. Two kilos, 4.4 pound down. Second week I weighed myself, I was the same weight. So I was still only four and a half pound down. I said I wasn't going to weigh myself again until the end of the diet. Just carried on eating. I didn't count my calories I ate when I was hungry until I was comfortably full. Um, didn't exercise loads. I'm going to be honest. I didn't exercise loads. Didn't lift any weights during the first four weeks. I just went to jujitsu and did my morning walks. Um, week four, Monday morning, day 30, got on the scales and total loss was four pound, not the 4.4 total loss was four pound. So a pound a week. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I can lose more than a pound a week doing a calorie controlled diet, eating fresh fruit, fresh veg, meat, um, I can lose more weight than I did on the carnivore diet. And that's the honest truth. If it's not just about weight loss, then I guess you've got to weigh that up. So taking these things into consideration, taking into the fact that I didn't lose as much weight as I thought I was going to, my feet were in pain, you know, worse than they were before. The food was a bit restrictive. Um, you know, my, we sometimes like have a family takeaway night and just a tray of meat from the kebab house was a bit boring. And I, and I got to the point of my mood. So my mood was really affected. I felt really low. I felt down and I was really struggling. Um, and I said to myself the morning of day 30, that's it. No more. I've done, I've done what I said I was going to do. I've set out, I've done the 30 day carnivore. And I was hundred percent. I did well. I was strict for 30 days, no more. So I decided what makes me feel good. What brings my mood back up is to go in the gym and lift some weights. That is my happy place. That is what, what does it for me? So I decided I'm going back in the gym. I'm going to go back and do weights. Um, so that was it. Day 30, I had decided I'm done with the carnivore diet. And that was until this happened. Decided to go back and do weights. My usual routine for doing weights would be have um, a pre-workout meal of kind of oats or something like that um, an hour or so before. But I couldn't. So I had to stay. But, you know, I've been kind of off for 30 days. I didn't have the I didn't have the stuff at work that I needed um, to to do my usual regime. So I thought I'll do it to carnivore. I'll just have some, I had some scrambled eggs um, and uh, my electrolyte drink that I've been having anyway. I actually had a bit of salt um, uh, because I, it was magnesium. I had some magnesium tablets that didn't have sodium in them. So I had a bit of salt, had that, um, went to the gym. First, first exercise in the gym for um, 30 days. I hadn't done any lifting for 30 days. I'd got a vest on. Um, so, you know, just, just straps down here. Um, 
And the first exercise was was easy bar curls, uh, close grip easy bar curls. If you haven't checked out my video on uh, building bigger biceps, you'll know that easy bar curls, close grip are one of my one of my all time favorites. So I had the bar. I wasn't on the preacher bench. I did them freestanding, pinned my elbows in, stood in front of the mirror, tensed everything up, core engaged, and started to curl. Watching myself curl in the mirror, I like to watch for four, make sure I'm not swinging. Have a look, just just to get a feel. Those of you that lift weights will understand watching the form. And as I'm curling, I looked up at the mirror and I could see fibers in my shoulder muscles where I could see it moving. Um, I could see definition between my shoulders and my chest for the first time since probably I was 30 years old, 43 this month. And as I'm stood looking, I was, I was almost in awe of how much into muscle fat I had burnt off. I hadn't lost a great deal here. This is one of my biggest areas. And I think that was something that was disheartening me a little bit on this carnivore diet. I could still see my belly. I expected to have a six pack at the end of it. But as I'm curling, I can see these fibers and I think I haven't been in the gym. I haven't lifted any weights. And this is the result from, from this diet. These fibers, this I looked ripped. I looked better upper body than I've probably looked for, I don't know, 10 years. And at that point, something clicked and said, you've got to do 90 days. You've got to do 90 days and go to the gym and lift weights. And I'm going to Ben Nevis next weekend and give it time. 30 days is a bit of a measure, but it's not, it's not enough. Three months, 90 days. That's what the transformation, when people do transformation, they do a 90 day transformation. So let's do 90 days. Let's stick at this. Let's do this carnivore diet for 90 days and we'll see where we're at. So I've decided I'm staying on it. I am not going to cheat. I'm not going to have a day off. I'm not going to go and go, oh, I'm just going to have loads of carbs and then I'm going to go back on it. I went back to work. I, I trained at lunchtime at work. I went back to work after the workout and I went straight out. Uh, the butcher's he's right next to my work. I went and bought steak, had steak as my post-workout meal. And, and I haven't looked back and carnivore is where we're at. 90 days coming up in another 30 days. Uh, or actually, I'm going to be honest, today isn't day 30, day's 36. It's taken me a bit of time to record this video. Um, so coming up in um, 24 days, it's going to be my 60 day update. Let's see where we're at. Hopefully we'll still be sticking at it. Please, if you've enjoyed this video and you like what I'm saying, you want to see the other stuff, the other fitness stuff we do, the other health stuff we do, the well-being, the mindset, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to your channel. Whatever it is you're doing, guys, go out there and achieve your goals and choose life.